okay so let me show you how you can do a really simple rain animation in blender just like this and let's just jump into it okay so let's create a simple rain animation in blender so let's just start off with the rain drop so we're just gonna go shift a and bring in our uv sphere i'm gonna go into edit mode and we're just gonna subdivide it a couple of times like that then we're going to deselect everything by going alt a i'm just going to turn on screencast keys here and if we go into top view we can click one and select the top vertice like that and now if we click o and turn on proportional editing we can create a raindrop like that so now we have sort of like the raindrop shape and we can right click and go shade smooth and we're just going to move it a little bit from the center and now we're going to bring in the plane and we're just going to duplicate this plane here uh, duplicate so shift D, grab and C like that so now this plane here is going to be our surface and this plane here is going to be our particle emitter and what you need for this to work is to have some geometry so let's just go into edit mode here at the bottom of uh, the plane and you can just set this to 100 and maybe one more like that so just make it really dense and then we're going to click on this top plane and we're going to go click on this particle symbol and this plus icon we're going to set the end here to 1000 and let's go down to the timeline and set the end of our frames to 1000 as well and we can also just set the lifetime of these particles to 1000 like that so now if we hit the spacebar here, we're going to have these balls, but we don't want these, these Christmas balls. We want this, um, uh, real, this mesh here, this raindrop that we created. So we can select our top plane, go down to render, change the render as from halo to object, and then just use the eyedropper tool and select this uh, raindrop. So now if I hit the spacebar, we have some rain falling down from this plane. And we can also increase the scale like that. And a good tip here is always to hold down shift when you work in uh, a particle system because that will give you more control. And we can also just set the scale randomness all the way to, to the top here. So now we need these two planes here to be connected in one way so we're going to bring in some physics so I click on the top plane then we're going to go into the physics tab and we're going to use this dynamic paint and we're going to change this type to brush and add brush and we're going to work with a particle system so let's change the source to particle system and also remember do this twice so particle system particle system like that so now if we click on this plane here at the bottom we can go dynamic paint again but this time we're gonna keep it on canvas so just click add canvas and we can change this surface type from paint to waves so now if I hit the spacebar we have some rain and as you can see this is a little bit too intense so we need to bring down the the particle number a little bit so just uh, click on the plane back to this particle section here and we can bring this down to say 250 like that and a little extra tip here if this particle emitter acts up 
it's always a good idea to just reset it. So go to the first frame and then play it again. So here we go. So now we have this really cool looking and um, easy rain effect and blender. And if I zoom in here, you can see that uh, you can sort of see all of this, uh, this geometry and the way we can smooth this out a little bit is adding in an extra modifier. So let's just do that as well. So we're just going to add a modifier and we're going to go to deform and we're going to use this smooth corrective. So let's see now. So that makes it better. And uh, I think can increase this level here as well. So this will make it more smooth. And from here on, it's pretty much just to um, bring in a material onto this um, surface here and uh, also onto this uh, raindrop to give it a nice watery material. So that is all for today. Uh, have a great day wherever you are and subscribe and all of that stuff if you can. And uh, peace out.